I'm very hardworking and reliable. I'm easily motivated and extremely outgoing. And I'm extremely excited about making everybody laugh in here tonight! Woo! <laughs> so, last May, I had to sublet my apartment, so I put an ad on Kijiji. There was all this furniture I couldn't take with me. So I put an ad up saying, listen, I need someone to sublet my apartment. I have a lot of furniture I can't take with me. You can keep it, or I'll just throw it away. This lady replies to my ad. She says, please don't throw your furniture away if no one wants it. You could give it to Goodwill or even put up an ad for free furniture. There's many people that could use the furniture. I responded to her, please don't reply to my ad unless you're interested in subletting my apartment. <laughs> God, I, I hate people. I mean, no offense to everyone here in the audience. But I just, uh, I don't like interacting with people. That's why I go to movies, because I like to watch people interact. I just don't, I'm not a big fan of the real thing. I went to see the movie uh, Buried. Did anyone see that? Ryan Reynolds buried in a coffin, he's trying to get out. I don't know, it was pretty good. But uh, the whole movie kind of made me feel a little bit uh, envious. Like, I wish I was buried alive in a coffin. And you think about it, because then for an hour and a half, millions of people are going to care about what I have to say and my personal struggles. But when you're a 25-year-old man with no job, Living with your grandmother in Scarborough? <laughs> Nobody cares. I actually did get a job a couple months back. I got a new cell phone. I'm no longer using my dad's cell phone. Put a short round of applause for that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, getting a new cell phone comes with a new number, so now I'm getting all these weird wrong numbers like all the time. Like I even get wrong number texts. I got one the other day. It said, uh, Kasamo Mo Basi 8 Susan? <laughs> I replied to it, yeah, I ate Susan. <laughs> she wrote back, uh, did you receive my text? Yeah, I told you I ate Susan. <laughs> Writes back, no! You'll pay for this, you bastard! <laughs> I got a phone call a month ago, and it scared the hell out of me. It sounded like uh, as soon as the guy started talking, I got the distinct impression that he's killed people. <laughs> it sounded like a terrorist command or something. It didn't make any sense. I answered like, hello? The time. <laughs> I am on day. What? <laughs> the time. I am on day. The fuck are you talking about? Who is this? Wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> These wrong numbers have made it a bit easier for me to talk to people and like socialize, but like I still have to write down conversation starters in order to talk to girls on the subway. And to give you an example, I'll walk up to a girl, say something like, Excuse me, I find you very attractive and I would love to engage you in a conversation about cats. <laughs> girls usually like cats. <laughs> Or, hey, do you know one, one time I was buried alive in a coffin? <laughs> what a weekend! <laughs> or, hey, have you ever been married? Me neither. Or, me too. <laughs> Something in common. <laughs> or, hey, do you prefer regular milk or chocolate milk? No kidding, I prefer regular. Opposites attract. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you on this last one. Uh, excuse me, it's been a very long time since I've had sex. Do girls still like hard penises? <laughs> <laughs> That's it for me. I'm Adam Parlett. <laughs> Get ready for your next comic. He's uh, very hilarious, extremely talented. I've never heard of him. Get ready for my personal friend. Jay Cleland! Yeah.